Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Game Boy Color games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. On screen right now, you can see me playing some The Legend of Zelda. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Play Store. And once your Play Store opens up, we're going to be searching for and installing an app called the RetroArch. This is going to be the free emulator we're going to be using in today's video. So the first thing you need to do is open this up and get this installed. From this point, we're going to be backing out of here and we're going to be searching for and installing a second app. And this is going to be Z Archiver. This is going to be another free app we're going to be using to extract our games a little bit later on. So the first thing you need to do is get both of these installed. From this point, we're going to be opening up RetroArch. And if this is your first time opening the app, you are going to have to allow it access to your phone storage as we're going to be needing to locate to our games a little bit later on. From this point, we're going to be clicking load core at the very top. Here we'll see a list of all our downloaded cores, but what we're going to be looking for is the download a core option right here. Click this open. And what we're going to be doing is scrolling down until we see Nintendo dash Game Boy slash color. And we're going to be looking for the one in brackets that says Gear Boy. In this case, there is a couple different Game Boy cores right here. If one doesn't work for you or a specific game, I'd recommend experimenting and trying the different cores. To install a core, you simply click on it once. Some text will appear at the bottom. And once the text disappears, your core will be installed and you're ready to go. From this point, we're going to be clicking back on the top left. We're going to be clicking load core one more time. And then we're going to be loading the core we just downloaded, which for me is right here. Simply click on it and then your core will be loaded. From this point, we're going to be backing out of here and we're going to be talking about games. And that's where Z Archiver comes into play. In this case, I have my game by color folder here and I have the Legend of Zelda right here. In this case, my game is in a .zip format. And in this case, we're going to be using Z Archiver to extract our games if they come in a .zip, .7z or .rar format so we can get our game files out so we can use them in our emulator. To extract the game, you simply need to locate to it with Z Archiver. Click on your game once. From this point, you'll have two options. Extract here will extract the game in its current location, or extract dot 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 will allow us to choose where we would like to extract our game. In this case, I'm just going to be clicking extract here, and my game is going to extract. In this case, my game extracted to a dot GBC format game, and that's exactly what I'm looking for, and that's exactly what we need for our emulator today. I will also mention, I'm not going to be showing you in today's video where to download games, although games are really, really easy to find. A quick Google search will help you out. Once you have your game extracted, we're going to be backing out of here again, and we're going to be going back to retro from this point what we're going to be doing is clicking the load content option and you're going to be locating to where you just extracted your game in this case i have my legend of zelda game right here gbc when you select your game you will then get the option to choose cores if you have multiple cores that can select this game in this case i'm just going to be using my game by core that we selected from before and your game should start loading right away since this is a pretty old game and emulator you should have no problem running this on most phones in my case it ran 100 percent fine without any issues and it should work just fine for you in this case i would recommend connecting this up to an external controller it'll make your experience a lot better i'm not going to be showing you that in today's video however i do have a previous video where i show you that i'll leave a card on screen so you can check that out anyway guys it's as easy as that to play a game by color games on your android device if you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel i'm going to be leaving a link down below to my paypal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace